Okay, hi. Hello everyone. I'm Naval Yamul. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Master. In this video, we are going to talk about unifying the parameters across Databricks. In past, creating a parameter and passing a parameter using Python and SQL was a bit challenge. But now Databricks has made it so easy to create and pass a parameters in the runtime. So this documentation will help you to understand how you can unify the parameters across the Databricks, whether you are writing a queries in a SQL editor or you are writing a notebook, creating a notebook or you are even writing a, a dashboards, you can easily use this parameters. So by using this named parameter marker, you can easily create a parameter and you can run, you can pass them into your data set queries at a runtime. So I'll give you the link of this documentation. You can go through it, but let me show you the hands-on in my Databricks workspace. Now I'm in the Databricks workspace. I'm in my notebook. I've attached my SQL warehouse. Even you can do it by using your all purpose computer. So I'm using select star from my table name. So I have a catalog name, a table name and a catalog name, schema name and the table name. Let me try to run this and let me show you the use case how we will unify this parameters so now let us take a use case where we are frequently querying it by using a segment column okay. so here i'll just write where the segment segment equal to so we keep on passing a value here like there are a couple of segments here like you have a consumer then you have a corporate then you have a home office and so on but now we can create a parameter by just using parameter I mean just use a colon and you just write a name of the parameter so I'll just write a parameter name as segment name, segment name and let me quickly try to run this oh beautiful you can see here the moment I run I write this you can see you got a parameter a widget you can call this as a widget where you can pass a parameter for example I'll write a parameter called consumer consumer you can see here we are writing a consumer here and now I'll try to run this now we got more than 6800 records but the moment when you run it you can see here now the query has already taken the parameter as a consumer and you can see you got a records all the records where the segment equal to consumer simple and just write it for corporate just try to run all corporate and now let me just try to run this now now the parameter the value have just updated it to corporate and now you can see there are 3000 records where your segment equal to corporate it's so simple and so easy and you can do it in your sql editor also i have just shown you in the notebook so i can do the same thing in the sql editor let me jump onto the new page sql editor i have taken the same query and you can see here uh, where the segment equal to i have just done the same name or you can create multiple parameters also for example let me go here and talk about creating a parameter other parameter with the name called profit okay so i want to check it where the segment equal to corporate and where the profit is more than hundred dollars something like that so i have a profit column let me show you here you have a profit column can you see that and now i'll just say equal to i'll just put a colon or maybe not equal to i want a profit where i want greater than so i'll just put a greater than symbol and then i'll pass a profit here and the moment i write something here you can see you got a new parameter got created here now i want to check where my segment is corporate for example corporate and where my profits are greater than 100 dollars so let me just click on apply changes and you are passing a parameter in the query runtime and you can see that the segment is corporate and where your uh, profits are greater than 100 dollars can you see that beautiful so with this uh, parameter you can you can just pass it in a runtime okay now not only this you can have the others also for example if you have frequently changing your table name you are if you are querying it from different catalogs different schemas and different tables yeah, you can use the identifier and then you can use this colon as catalog schema and the table and now i'm using this select star from if you want to create a table also you can use it but now let me just try to run this and you can see here i am just giving or passing a parameter called data master in this i have a schema called bronze and i have a table sales 
let me try to show you by passing a different name here for example i have a catalog data master in this i have a bronze and now i have a couple of tables here suppose i have a employee table okay or i have a superstore so i'll just come here and i'll try to change this to superstore superstore and you can see here now you don't need to really worry about the parameters and so on it's so simple you can just provide a value here and now you can see we are querying a superstore data okay so you can change this so now the life has become so simple and so easy with this new update and trust me you can run this on your all-purpose compute just you need a database runtime uh new database runtime version like 15.4 and so on okay so in this way you can unify across the databricks and this documentation will help you in detail understanding how uh, parameters are created and how you can pass it by using sql by using python and even you can go with the date and time also so this case use case is so useful when you have a date and time even you can create a parameters for that uh, started and end date also so whatever the parameters you have created by using pyspark way now you can replace them by using this identifiers are using this a uh, named uh, you can say named parameter marker so let us take one more use case where i'll be talking about creating by using a date one so let me just query this i'll take it from select start from the table name let me take a superstore try to run this now i want to query it between start date and end date okay so let me go back and look at the example here you can see here so where your order date in our case it's an order date is in between the start date and the end date just to where your order date you can see we have an order date column i'll just pass this in our tactics order date between in start date full cool. you can see here the moment i write it you can see you got a parameters here start date and the end date cool so now i have all the data from 2018 onwards so let me try to uh, pass a value here for example 2018 of 1st of jan maybe one until i want it till 2018 05 one okay let me just take this test it till first of you can change the dates and you can see that beautifully you can change it when or just uh, you can create the parameters and you can pass the values in this way cool. now you got all the records in these two dates cool so it is really useful you can try out so you can check this documentation it will really show you all the common use cases and the other uh, data sets where you can apply the parameters okay. so if you like the video i request you to please subscribe to my channel share it with your mates and your colleagues Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great day.